Okay, so today on Gibbs Adventures, I want to show you how I skin a Martin. I uh, call myself sarcastically the world's fastest uh, Martin skinner. Probably skinned a few thousand in my life. What you want to do before you start is give it a good brushing. I use a dog slicker brush. I brush it with the fur, head to toe. Now before I start, I always the first cut that I make is I grab the front leg here and cut each one from the pad down to the elbow. Next, I cut from one hind foot to the other. I always wear skinning gloves when I skin anything and I guess that's from doing all kinds of workshops all over the place you never know the quality of the animal that you're going to get for skinning so it's better to be safe than sorry I just work my fingers once I make my cut and I can pull everything up I can get basically around by the tail here. Tail stripper tool. Remember that first cut that I made? Allows a leg to pop out like that. Pull it right up to the ears. Quick dock at the ears here. Pinch up where each eyeball is. Oh look, Ace, his tongue's sticking out like me all the time. <laughs> There you go. The carcasses I use for bait. I put them back out in the trap line. You can do, uh, you can take the teeth out and check them and see, check the age. Now, if I was going to freeze this, which I'll do sometimes, I'll turn it back for out. 
kind of roll it up in a nice, tight little ball and I'll put it in milk bags. I double the bag because they'll dry out. Easily good for two months in a freezer like that. Today we're going to put it right up on the uh, on the board so we'll carry on. Okay first I'm going to start off when I board this Martin here is explain that where I'm from in northeastern Ontario we're at the kind of the southern end of the range for the Martin. I use two boards. I use a male board and I use a female board. Even for my Martin here, the size difference, two females, two males. I don't put small males on female boards. Never do that. I always recommend males on male boards, females on female boards. When I start off, I put them on the board sideways. Take one push pin, stick it in to hold it in place, put her down. I don't scrape the saddle off, but I take off the that's underneath the front legs. This is a dull, dull knife. There's always a little bit to scrape in the belly area. Once I have that scraped, take my pin out. A little bit there. Now on my boards, I have the measurements, okay, 16, 18, 21, 23, this one's going to go in the 21 area range. Before I go any further, the first thing, the next thing I do here is I cut out the cartilage out of the nose and the reason I do that is because if for some reason you leave it on the board too long it's very difficult to uh, once that nose dries out it's very difficult to get it to turn so I always try to take a second here and line them up properly Now on a tail, believe it or not, there's a top and a bottom. And if sometimes if you see a foxtail and it looks spirally when the guy's done, it's because the trail was twisted when he, when he split it down the tail. So what I do is I just take, lay it down flat, run my foam on it, and then I can see that there's a kind of a paler side that's the bottom. And then that's where I uh, run my knife. Split it from, from one end to the other. Okay, now this Martin almost makes makes it to uh, 23, but I'm, it's not. It's, I can't do it. So there's no sense overstretching it. You're not gaining anything by really overstretching it. Keep it in the side. The first thing I do now is I pin it for its length. Once I have the length established, then I'll pin out the tail. And I'm always trying to center it on the, my boards. Some guys like to use wire screen, no problem. Some guys use mesh, whatever works. You can use cardboard. 
the trick is to uh, pin it out so that it dries and gives you a nice finished looking tail appearance okay once I have that pinned next thing I'm gonna do is pin the legs so I always clean up if there's a little bit left in the belly area I pin the legs always always opposite of the tail I'll show you why on a finished Martin in a second some guys recommend putting them on the side I don't I try not to overstretch the back legs but I try to make them prominent If you want a good separation of fur and leather, just run your brush on it for a second and it'll clean it up. Get a really good definition between the fur and the leather. I guess in this case the skin. My goal every time I do this is to present the Martin in the best possible fashion as I can. I've been doing this for uh, probably close to 40 years. And I've always pride myself on my Martin catch and how I handle it. Okay, once I'm done, so feet are opposite of the tail, and come out. This is something else that I do a little different than some guys is they'll cut the, the, the front legs off, but I don't. I take four pins on each leg. Pin them out. Notice I'm using a little coffee can here just to hold it up so it doesn't, uh, if you're not careful, you'll knock the pins out of the tail if you're working on this side. Okay, the last thing I do then is I cut off the bottom lip. Stick a pin in the nose, and that's it. Then I would put it up against the wall on a bit of an angle so the legs hang out, and I'll let it dry. I just put it up against the wall like that so it hangs out. It takes about, generally in the winter time, when it's really, uh, the air is really dry, you probably can turn it in six hours. So just to give you kind of an idea how I do it, move some junk here. Okay, I want to talk about boards for a second. There's always a little bit of controversy about boards and everybody has an opinion. It's kind of like assholes, everybody's got one. The reason I use the system that I use is I use a copy of Ranch Mink boards. When they do 92 million Ranch Mink, they figured something out right. And what I did is I just got a couple of Ranch Mink boards. That's a male board. You can see how it's hollowed out because they use a forced air system to dry it. Trappers don't catch thousands of pelts at a time, and so we just use regular boards. But my pattern is right off of that board. Okay? Same as my female board. Mink board, my pattern's the same. What I do different is I add measurements on my boards. I use the same boards for Mink and for Martin. On the Martin, the sizes are 16, 18, 21, 23. On the Mink, it's uh, 15, 17, and 19. 
Okay? These are some Martin that I've done up. Female. Male. You can see it gives a nice uniform appearance to them. What I do when I turn them is I leave the front legs inside and I pin my ears flat to the head. So it gives you a nicer appearance finish on your Martin. You can see all my tails are nice and wide and flat and they're totally opposite of the tail. And my Martin are very uniform in my put up. Like I said, females on female boards, males on male boards, they're bigger. It's easier for the greater to match skins when they're uniform like that. Now, if you're from the north, so say north of, uh, you know, the Thompson uh, and Manitoba area, northern northern Alberta, northern Saskatchewan, northern Ontario, Northwest Territories, Yukon, you can get away with using only the one male board. The, your Martin are bigger by size, and you don't have to, to uh, go between sizes. The only thing I recommend, again, is just mark the size on your board because if you pin it too short if you pin it right on the line and it dries you could lose a five or ten dollar bill because you lost the size you can't make every martin a double extra large it just doesn't work like that and i don't cheat by trying to put a male martin on a female board to get the length the greater looks at that and he laughs at you he just throws it back where it belongs so make it easier make it uniform and you'll make more money from doing it I always recommend also to be brushing your Martin. You don't want them to come in with anything extra on them, no blood, no dirt, no, no pine needles. You give them a little shake and all the air stands up really nice. Good luck. Hopefully you enjoyed this Gibbs adventure. Hopefully I pass on a few tips that might help you in the future. Take care. Hit the like button for me and share it with your buddies. Carry on. Hello, Oski. That's my boy.